Jen and Keith, this father, Rashad Hines, has been relentless in pursuing justice for his son. Tonight, Rashad wants to know why one of the suspects in Jaden's case has been released. On April 8th, police say Lakeland toddler Jaden Hines was beat to death. Soon after, two arrested. Jaden's mom, Vershandra Day, charged with accessory after the fact and negligent child abuse, and the mom's boyfriend, Allie Gray Jones, booked for first-degree murder. Tonight, while Jones is still behind bars, Day is out on bail, and Jaden's dad, Rashad Hines, is devastated. It is, it is, in a sense, it is hurting me deeply. For her to be released is just early nonsense. I believe she had more to blame than him, because she's the parent. He's just a random guy. Day's bond was set at $75,000. Aid on Your Side has learned while defense attorneys tried to get the bond lowered in October, prosecutors and the judge didn't go for it. Day was only released after she came up with the cash. Stephen Capriotti is a former prosecutor in Hillsborough yeah. County. 99% of the defendants get pretrial released. You're not released when you're charged with a capital crime, which is a first degree murder, a sexual battery, an armed kidnapping. Capriotti says Jaden's dad will still have his day in court. We've learned the next court date is January 11th. Day is set to face the judge for a pretrial hearing. Is there anything you want to say to Jaden? Jaden knows I love him. He knows his dad's going to fight for him to the very end, even if I'm standing alone. Take care of your kids. Cherish your kids. Because you never know what you have until they're no longer with you. And we have learned the court is keeping track of this mother with a GPS monitor, and she can have absolutely no contact with anyone under the age of 18. She'll be back in court on January 11th. Okay, so from what the attorney was saying, it sounds like the boyfriend will be staying behind bars until a possible trial or a plea. Did I understand that correctly? Yeah, that is exactly right, Jen. Jones is accused of a capital offense, so he is not eligible for bond, and if convicted, he could face death.